Thank you. So I'm talking about gratitude from a little different angle from what we heard earlier. Gratitude is thankfulness, gratefulness, appreciation. This is an emotion, it's a feeling. And it's rare that there is a profession that's built around a feeling. But in fact, there is an entire industry that's built around just that. I am a fundraiser at UCLA College, the academic heart of the campus. And I'm here to talk to you about the business of gratitude. Um, if you, uh, I'd like to share a little fact with you. Last year, 2015, across the nation, colleges and universities raised more than $40 billion. That's a lot of money of philanthropic dollars. And rest assured, there is an industry and there's a business behind that. Um, just to give you a local perspective, here at UCLA, we just closed our fiscal year and we raised 663 million. Again, that's a lot of money and a lot of gratitude. In the college, we raised 62, 62 million. So I want to point out, you know, why do we need to fundraise? Why do we need to fundraise at UCLA? So UCLA is almost 100, 100 years old, and philanthropy has not always been a part of what we do. It has been more of a need as time goes on. And I'm going to give you an example, a case, uh, that has to do with our students, in particular our undergraduate population. In the 1950s and 60s, a student could come to school um, by working three to four weeks in the year. And that would cover their tuition for the entire year. So they could work and pay to go to school. Today, in 20, this is a statistic from 2015, a student has to work 42 weeks. So it's a different playing field. And uh, students do student loans, look for financial aid, and of course scholarships. And scholarships are given uh, through philanthropy. So UCLA is an engine of social mobility. It is something we pride ourselves on. Over 66% of the undergraduates here receive some form of financial support. And so building the case for scholarship and making that connection to an individual who wants to express their gratitude and give towards that, there's a, there's a business aspect of expressing that gratitude. I also wanted to share with you the idea of stewardship. So people give because it makes them feel good to turn their feeling into action. And that action is something that here at UCLA in our fundraising offices, we take care of. And this is called stewardship. So stewardship, the stewardship offices, is their focus to thank every gift that comes in to UCLA and to report that not only did we spend it the way we said we were, but that it has an impact. And for the folks who receive that impact, that they are grateful. We share that gratitude with the donors. And then the donors, oftentimes and more often than not, they give again. And this is a cycle of giving, it's a cycle of gratitude. You know, gratitude is the backbone of philanthropy. Philanthropy could not exist without gratitude. I have a couple of examples of the way that we thank our folks because we can't thank them enough for what they allow us to do here. We do it publicly, we do it in special events, and um, postcards. This past year in my office, we sent out over 6,600 postcards, thank you notes, testimonials, all sharing how deeply grateful we are for their support. We also sent out over 540 reports that dig a little bit deep, deeper into the impact of the lives of, that's been changed for students and our faculty. Um, this, this is also an, another poster that we have in a couple of um, places on campus. You know, I'd like to share a story with you. Um, when I first started at UCLA a number of years ago, I met um, a woman who has been involved for a really long time. She's met a number of chancellors, a number of deans, and certainly a number of development officers. And one of the things that she shared with me on her first meeting were um, some problems, some grievances she had. She'd given a number of years ago and didn't know what was happening. Where did her money go? It, are we still using it? Are we still spending it? So I went back to the office, looked her up, created a report, met with her a few weeks later, and showed her 
these are all the students who've been impacted by this gift. Here's some, what some of the students are doing today. Here's the faculty that were impacted by our gift. And I really showed her a comprehensive look at what was going on. We maintained a great relationships, and many years later, she ended up giving more fun to the English department to establish a chair. So again, this is a cycle of philanthropy, and it's our job to show you how grateful we are for what you do. I have another story that I want to share. Um, it definitely puts a smile on my face. I tried to meet with a woman to um, engage her in a department, and she just was not interested in meeting me. She, she was older, she, you know, she's kind of been there, done that. And I said, you know, I really want to talk to you about the, the money that you gave and share the story of the student. No, nope, I'm fine, I'm all set. I said, you know what, I have a report for you, I'm just gonna drop it in the mail. Two weeks later, she calls me, and she was so thrilled to have read the testimonial of this student and to have seen the history of how many people just like that student who were so grateful what this woman had established a number of years ago that the next year when I called her again and said you know I have another report I'd like to send you she said let's go to lunch in Santa Monica we went to her favorite Mexican restaurant we had margaritas she tried to have give me more margaritas and uh, we really had a, a wonderful engagement and it was such a pleasure for me to share UCLA's gratitude towards her of what she did. Um, people are grateful, and people are grateful for a lot of different things, and they turn that gratitude into action here at UCLA. And uh, from the time that I've, I've been here, I've met a lot of people who have very different reasons. Um, I've met folks who met their spouses here on campus, and uh, UCLA is kind of near and dear to their heart. I've met a number of folks who received a scholarship many years ago and that experience in higher education changed their lives. A lot of those folks are giving back to us today. Um, I've also heard a number of times that just the quality of the education that they got here at UCLA has made them be successful and they are just grateful for that. Um, I have also met some folks who are grateful for the work that's being done to help cure a disease that might be someone near and dear to their heart, and they want to be a part of that cure. And um, also folks who love investing in the discovery and being part of that discovery. And also UCLA offers the opportunity for people to leave a legacy, and people are grateful for that opportunity as well. So major gifts are part of what we do. It's um, when somebody gives a large gift that really makes an impact on a division. And um, there's a number of places that this happens for our students, our graduate students, and for our faculty. And um, I have another story I'd like to share. Um, I had the opportunity to meet a couple who've been giving for, to students for, I think, s since the 80s. And every year they come and they meet their cohort. In the last couple of years, I enjoyed having lunch with the students and the donors and hearing the stories. The students were fantastic and interested and in wanting to hear the path that brought that donor to UCLA and beyond. And he shared wonderful things about, um, you know, he came from a poor family. He was the first generation to go to higher education. He had a big family in a small apartment. He used to sleep on the kitchen floor. Uh, he scrounged up money to take the bus to campus, but uh, he couldn't have been here without the scholarship. And one of the stories that the students really loved hearing is when he talked about his going to his first fraternity party because he had never experienced anything like that before. So part of what we do on the business side is we bring these people together. And these students that are hearing his story, they will be in his shoes someday, and they're going to remember that they were there because of him, and it's possible that they'll be grateful and they'll give back as well. So um, in closing, I think that I would like to say that it is a pleasure to work with people who like to give. They, they give, it makes them happy, they make an impact here on campus, and then lives are changed. Thank you.